All right, so this is my Raspberry Pi Zero W, and I'm gonna try powering it up with the SD card that it came with. So it came with this, and um, I, you may or may not have seen my previous video where I did an unboxing of this kit. So I, I bought this, uh, I, I bought a kit with a bunch of different components with my Raspberry Pi Zero, and um, so this is the W, but not the it it's it doesn't come with the um, it's not the H so it doesn't come with the pins built in it comes with uh, it just has holes where you would solder things in for the GPIO pins but it comes with uh, it comes with this so this should be I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out also and uh, but but first I'm gonna I'm gonna just try to get the thing up and running and I believe it's supposed to come with noobs on this so I'm going to try that out before I go ahead and flash it. I'll probably flash it anyways just to get a newer version of Raspberry Pi OS on it but I'm going to try this out just to start and um, I also have to flash the, the one of my Raspberry Pi 4 too so I, I might do that tomorrow but um, for tonight I'm going to try bringing this guy up and I'm also I also noticed I have this cable I had just bought a Raspberry Pi camera um, I, I bought the, the Noir and, um, I'm going to try to, the, the connector actually is this size on both ends on the camera, so it won't actually fit into this Raspberry Pi, but this looks like an adapter or this looks like a cable that would fit one end into the camera and one end into this, but this is much shorter than the cable that came with the camera. So I'm wondering if there isn't like an adapter between this and the cable that goes to the camera, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to get that sorted out also. But let's see how this works. All right, all right so I've got it plugged in. Um, power in here. This this one is for power. This is for USB. Um, and the USB actually connects to this uh, USB hub, which is pretty much the only way to connect, uh, you know, a regular USB device like my keyboard and mouse. It's the only way to get my keyboard and mouse connected to it. Um, I, I think this one actually has Bluetooth, so technically you could probably do that if it were configured. Anyways, this is the only practical way to do this for now, is just to have this hub. And this actually, this kit actually came with this USB hub, so that was um, pretty handy to have. Not that I don't have a ton of those laying around, but anyways, um, well, I don't have any that have, you know, that this, this port here. So anyways, plug, plug the USB hub into there, power into here, um, SD card stuck in here. And uh, have my uh, my mini uh, HDMI plug here, and uh, that actually goes to a full sized HDMI plug on my um, um, on my monitor, which is over here. So on this old monitor, and I'm, I'm just recording this with my phone, not screen capturing. So you know those waves on the screen. It doesn't look like that with my eyes. It's just because I'm recording a computer screen with my phone rather than screen capturing. Anyways, so it looks like it booted right up into noobs and it's gonna let me select an, uh, an OS to install. And it looks like the only two options I have available at the moment, and I don't know if this would pull down more. I've never used this before. I've used other methods to flash my SD cards, but this Ace SD card came with noobs already on it, so I'm gonna give it a try. So, um, yeah, it looks like it comes with Raspbian Full. It's gonna be a little older than what I'd like. I'd wanna get the newest, but it comes with Libra Elec, which I, from what I understand, is a, it's it's a media center distribution, which I have no use for at all. But anyways, I'm going to give this a shot. So let's see here. Install. And write it. There we go. So we're going to install this system. I'm going to stop this for a minute while, it, while the installer runs. Because my uh, phone that I'm using to record this with is about to die. Looks like it successfully installed the OS for me. So that was pretty uh, quick, or well, not quick, but pretty easy. And so now we're booting up. You can see I have a couple dead pixels on my screen here. More than a couple dead pixels. So um, this, this screen, in particular is in, in need of replacement. Anyways, there's my Pi just working away trying to boot the system up. 
and I, I don't believe this is much more powerful than the uh, than the original Raspberry Pi. It's just you know much smaller. So there's pretty much nothing going on at, on the screen at the moment. And all right, so that really took a while to boot up, but um, I'm not sure if that's a first boot thing or it's going to be like that every time. I'm not sure if it's because of the speed of this particular Pi or because of, um, or, or you know, just, just because of, um, yeah, I don't know. But um, in, anyways, I'll, I'll find out. I know I, w I was just working with uh, Risk OS and it boots up like really, really quickly um, unless it hangs on trying to start the network. But um, otherwise, yeah, that, that, that just boots really quick. This took a while. I don't know if it's because it's the first boot or um, because uh, this pi, particular um, model of Pi is just extra slow. I'm, I'm not sure what, what the case is. But anyways, there's my desktop. Um, so that's nice. It seems to be working nicely. Let's see how quick Let's see how well this works. All right, so I can pop open a terminal and waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, yeah, so it's, it seems a little slow. I mean, I think this is not, yeah, there we go. So this is not too different from my experience with the original Raspberry Pi, which was a little bit slow running running Linux. Um, you know, it's it's a little slow as a desktop system. It's 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 not bad, but like I'm, I'm used to running it on a pretty quick Intel-based system where, um, I, yeah, the Linux desktop just works much better and I'm running like, you know, full, you know, full fat KDE on my Linux desktop. So this is, you know, this is more of a trimmed down desktop and see, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's usable, but, um, it's not as zippy as I, I normally expect. You click and you have to wait a little bit for a new terminal to pop up, but no big deal. It's not bad. It's, it's more than usable. Um, kind of like the, for, for simple stuff like that, kind of like the original Pi, but, um, and I apologize about this video quality. I'm just recording this with my phone instead of screen capturing, but, um, yeah, and there we go. So that, that loaded pretty quick. The file manager did, which it should load pretty quick. There's no excuse for it not to, um, yeah, it comes with a bunch of normal apps you would expect with the Pi. Um, you know, a bunch of development stuff, Scratch, the Sensat emulator, all this other stuff, uh, Mathematica, some IDEs, yeah, just, you know, normal stuff you get in the, comes with Chromium, wow, how about that? I don't remember that being there all, all those years ago. So, comes with LibreOffice, what, 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 what do we have for graphics? Actually, um, Image Viewer, that's it, Game, Minecraft, we should, we, we should try that out. Um, and the regular, regular stuff. So um, I'm not connected to the internet with this right now. The the place where this would really, um, so I'm, I'm gonna be trying out my uh, my Raspberry Pi 4 um, probably tomorrow, but um, I'm expecting that to work a lot better on the desktop. Now, the, the place where this suffers really is when you start doing, um, it's a little, little laggy. It's not as zippy as it could be, but it starts suffering once you do web browsing because once you start loading web pages with a ton of resources, it starts uh, starts cr to crawl a little bit. And um, although I'd, I would like to try that again with this, I haven't tried that with, I tried, tried that years ago with the original Pi. So it wasn't quite a desktop replacement. You kind of could, but it was, just wasn't quite there back then. Um, <clears throat> So it wasn't a desktop replacement, although now with the Pi, and I believe this, uh, you know, this um, Pi Zero is basically the same power as the original Pi, but the Raspberry Pi 4, you probably could use that as a desktop replacement. It would be completely fine. It wouldn't be high powered or anything, but it would probably be fine. Um, like, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, so, um, What, what else? So I'm, I'm going to load this browser. It's taking a little while. Then I'm going to try loading Minecraft. And I think that's it for the demo for today. This is just, you know, showing me getting it up and running and how it works. Um, I'm going to use this for future projects. I'd like to get the Pi camera working on it. And I would like to, um, I, I'd, I'd like to play around with the pins and get it to like make a lead light up and stuff like that. I'd like to do a lot of neat things like that. I'd like to, I'm going to use these GPIO pins and I have a bunch of 
projects I'd like to do with sensors and motors and all sorts of neat stuff. So I'm just going to go through like a, a, as many different projects as I, as I can come up with with this, but also with my other pies. So I'm going to try each of them out with different projects and, and I have a lot of fun stuff planned. So um, it's going to be interesting. So stay tuned for those future videos. Um, here's chromium took a little while to load. That's interesting now that these days and that this is not the newest version of Raspbian now that now it's called Raspberry Raspberry Pi OS and not Raspbian anymore. This is should be relatively new, but not, not the newest version. Anyways, I remember when I first started with this, they had some other browser. I think they branded it as Pi Dory or something. I forget the name of it. It was some other browser other than um, uh, looks like they don't even have it, but it, it was other than Chromium. So now, now, now we, we get Chromium. This should be a pretty decent web browsing experience, if maybe slow. I'm actually curious. Maybe this will run a little bit better if I try, you know, using Chromium. This might be, you know, I'm betting this is going to be a little on the slow side, but it's actually going to be functional. You'll be able to do normal online internet stuff like Gmail and Google Docs and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it is. It would be kind of neat if it can, but... I'm assuming definitely the, the, the Pi 4 is, it's, it's like many, many times faster. And I'm assuming that will work incredibly well for that. So I'm, I'm really excited to try that out. Um, so let's kill Chromium. I'm going to change the wallpaper is nice, but I'm going to change it just to change it. <clears throat> so yeah, more slow. Yeah, it's not too slow. Um, Little on the slow side, but let's change it to trees. All right, yeah, that's fine. That's something. All right, let's try loading up Minecraft and see how that goes. Minecraft Pie Edition. I, I have purchased this game on like so many different platforms Mac OS. I purchased it for the PC so I can load it on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Uh, and I have loaded it on all of those with the same version of the game or with the, you know, the same license or whatever I paid for it. And it works on all of them. Got it on the Nintendo Switch, got it on the Android, on iOS, on everything. And also on Pi. So this is a limited version of Minecraft, but um, it's kind of cool that you can load this on the Pi. It'd be nice if you could run the full version. I have to wonder if that's possible. I'm betting it just doesn't run on Linux on ARM. Um, but but yeah, it's it's worth a shot. I mean, maybe you could get the full version to run in a Raspberry Pi. But def definitely with the the newer, you know, with the Raspberry Pi 4, I bet it would run great. I, mean, I, bet, I bet it'd be pretty decent. I mean, I'm not, not that you could necessarily run, like, all the best shaders and, and plugins and... and, and and mods and stuff, but it would probably run pretty well, pretty reasonably well. All right, so here we go. This is Minecraft. Um, let's see. Looks like I am in creative mode, and this would be a very limited version of it, but it's still pretty interesting. Let's see, how, how far can we go in this, this limited Minecraft? For, so it generates new terrain and stuff. Um, I, I remember there being like a wall you would hit and you couldn't go any further. Yeah, that's looks like I hit one wall And here's the other so the, the it's not an infinite world like in real Minecraft And this isn't because it's slow and not loading. It's because um and Can I turn with this is this working with my mouse? Yeah, it is all right. Oh, okay. It's because I went way Way up here. Yeah, so um yeah, the, the the world is relatively small, and uh, there's yeah. Once you get to the corner, you can't go any further. Whereas with real Minecraft, you can pretty much go to infinity. It just ge keeps generating and generating. Now, so, some yeah. Anyways, so that, that's enough of that. Um, this is uh. Yeah, this is this is not the best graphics. I, mean, I guess this isn't in. Let me see if I can. Yeah, and even for Minecraft, right? Like it's pixelized, but somehow it just doesn't quite look as good as on 
other platforms, but well, well, whatever. It's it's still great. Wow, that is excellent. I, I still want to play it though, but um, yeah. Look, look at that. So yeah, yeah. It's still fun to play. Just just doesn't look quite as good as it does on my p on any of my PCs or my, or my uh iPad or anything, but um, e even my Android phone, it looks better on, but still, this is, I mean, still using keyboard, keyboard and mouse is nice, but it's not the full edition, so probably not worth playing, it's just a nice demo. Um, yeah, I, I would play it on, if you really wanted to play Minecraft, just play it on something where you can get the, the full edition, but still, that's pretty cool that you can do that on a Raspberry Pi, it's cool that you can do it on something like this, although that's not that amazing that this tiny thing can do that because, you know, that's not that much bigger than what's inside my phone and my phone can play it. So, I mean, this is a whole lot cheaper than what's inside my phone, so there is that to consider. Um, but yeah, yeah, so uh, this thing right here is doing all the processing to play Minecraft over here. So that that that's pretty neat. And um, <clears throat> That's, this is one example, I, this is what you can do with the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is, this is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. So um, the W comes with, and it, the W um, comes with Wi-Fi and it's a, it's a little bit better. And it's, um, I forget, I have a chart of all the different Raspberry Pis. Um, so if you look in the link in the description, you'll see it. It'll point back to the article for this video. But that's also going to have some links to my like my general Raspberry Pi article, which has a big chart of all the details of every Pi and everything you could ev even ever possibly want to know about them. But um, yeah, anyways, the, the W has has Wi-Fi and um, the H has the has pins added here, whereas other models like this one just doesn't have any pin. They don't have pins here. You're meant to put water wires in here and solder them in place. So if you're using this for testing, um, you'd want pins in there, and you can add pins. And um, but but you yeah. I anyways, yeah. So that that's that's enough about that. If you enjoyed this video, um, <clears throat> you know, give us a thumbs up or give us a thumbs down if you if you want to do that too. Um, that's also fine. Leave a comment down below with any questions, um, praise, criticism, any anything you want to say or ask. Just leave a, a nice, just leave a comment down below. Um, <clears throat> if you want to see more content like this, just hit that. Uh, just just hit the subscribe button. You know, hit the little bell icon too, so you get updates when we come out with new videos. We have a lot more interesting stuff than this coming out. This is just getting the Pi up and running. You can do the same thing with the Pi Four and some other devices. And um, we're we're also gonna you know we're gonna do all sorts of projects with these. We're gonna you know run motors and stuff. We're also gonna set up a bunch of other devices like I have um, Raspberry Pi alternatives. We're gonna test out like a, like ASUS actually built their their own um, Raspberry Pi alternative. There's, there's like the Banana Pi and the Odroid and all sorts of other things. So we're gonna test those all out. Um, I'm, I, I've actually just ordered a lot of devices. Um, similar devices so we have we have some different raspberry pis to test out projects to do with them and we also have um you know similar similar devices we're going to test out so it's going to be interesting a lot of good stuff coming up so you definitely want to hit that subscribe button and uh and the bell icon and uh as always hopefully you enjoyed watching this and we will we'll see you next time